Alderaan certainly is the prettiest world on our itinerary. Don't let all that breathtaking scenery fool you, though. This is the most dangerous planet of the core worlds. The nobles here could teach the Sith a few things about backstabbing and assassination. You should hide in my bunk, where it's safe. Tempting, but I'll take my chances with the nobles. I'm reckless that way. Every so often, the noble families spill their bloodlines fighting for the throne. The current succession war is the bloodiest on record. Since the Empire arrived to put its own puppet in charge, there's no telling who will come out on top. Sounds like a good place to turn a profit. There's nothing like a little political chaos to line a spacer's pockets. The first time I visited, I thought all the nobles were so glamorous. Then I saw the truth. These people don't know how lucky they are, or what they should do with their fortunes. They don't deserve to rule. These nobles really upset you, don't they? I couldn't care less about them. All that matters is getting what we came here for. Your first delivery is a piece of glaze cake. All you have to do is escort that antique power droid to House Organa's castle. Since House Organa runs this spaceport and their castle is right around the corner, dropping off the droid should be a quick run. The droid's my first delivery. What's the second? One deal at a time, Captain. Let's focus on dumping that bucket of bolts. The droid belongs to a couple of young nobles, Len Teron and his sister Sidonia. Decent people, all things considered. Got it. I'd better get moving. You made a deal with a woman named Risha for this droid. I'm here to collect. Welcome home, you ugly little thing. I mean the droid, of course. This is no time for your juvenile jokes. We should properly introduce ourselves. I am Lady Sidonia Terran, Herald of the Gold Aurora. And I'm her brother, Lord Len Terran, Warden of the Eternal Flame. Please call me Len. What should I call your beautiful sister? Sedi. She loves that. Please don't listen to my brother. He has the unfortunate quality of being an idiot. <laughs> what did he say? My friend thinks your sister is cute. We may have finally found your perfect match, Sidonia. My brother and I are all that remains of House Turan's noble bloodline. One of Alderaan's more reprehensible pedigrees, House Bailis, slaughtered our family and seized all our holdings. You still have this old clanker, for whatever it's worth. This droid holds new hope for us, literally. Centuries ago, our ancestors hid something inside it for safekeeping. Pirates absconded with the unfashionable machine generations ago. Tracking it down has consumed our family since before we were born. What that droid contains will rebuild House Turan. But we need instructions to safely open the hidden compartment. It's rigged to explode, uh. you see. The instructions are at our family's estate, now occupied by House Bayliss's forces. Without those instructions, we can't pay you. Are you looking to hire me? You're obviously talented at acquiring things. The instructions we need are in a data pad of Tehran family history at our state's library. If you retrieve that data pad, we'll add a substantial bonus to your payment. And there are some additional family heirlooms we'll pay you handsomely to recover while you're there. What am I looking for, exactly? They'll be the valuable-looking things surrounded by guards. Len, it's time for your meeting with House Organa. Don't keep their counselors waiting this time. You just want this handsome stranger to yourself. Next time, dear sister, you get to beg our hosts for their table scraps. What are you waiting for? An invitation? I'll try not to come back too soon, dear sister. I couldn't face another dreary meeting with House Organa's counselors. Thank you for sparing me. I've been looking forward to a private chat since I got here. I'll try not to disappoint you. When I was a girl, I dreamed of adventuring among the stars. What's it like? Living that life. Come to my ship and see. <laughs> that would generate no end of gossip. This is already quite a breach of etiquette, you know. An off-world man calling on a lady in private. People will talk. Face it, you can't resist me. I'm often drawn to things I'm not supposed to have. Regardless, I've kept you from your business long enough. Please take care of yourself out there. <laughs>